tortured creature was once a man, Dr. Kirk Langstrom. There must be a cause for this transformation. His lab might hold the answer. Proceed with caution, sir. The creature could well be hiding in familiar surroundings. I gotta say, I'm causing a whole lot of collateral damage here for a good guy. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> I mean, I, I know there's, there are people riding on the streets and it's got to be impossible to tell who's done what and everything, but I'm just going to say Batman has contributed to the chaos in this city to, on this night. Also, I just remember, this is on Halloween night, October 31st, which is actually my dad's birthday. My dad is presumably the devil. Nah, he's not. He's a, he's a, he's a good guy, he is. Um, but yeah, speaking of birthdays, I had to, I've had like four birthdays this week. Not that I had four birthdays, that's physically impossible, but like, four people I knew had birthdays this week. Uh, it's crazy. It's like everyone I know is having a birthday this year. Alright, here we go. Oh, Mr. Man Bat, sir. If you're here, I would really fucking hate it if you did a jump scare on me. I not, I'm wearing a headset and I plan on doing some more alien isolation for you guys. So that is going to absolutely kill me. I was playing it last night. I got back to it after a couple of months. I forgot that I absolutely adore that game. But my god is it intense. As in like your ass sweats. It's so intense. I think this is about to go horribly, horribly wrong. So I can't look away though. What a horrific home video to show the kids. Okay, so that is how he became man bat. Oh, there's his wife. And that is a shame because she seemed like a lovely, supportive wife. Blunt trauma to the head. Langstrom had no idea what he was doing. Poor fella. I mean, he turned into a monster, you know. He has a lot of TV screens, though. There's a computer we can use. So this is where the magic happened, huh? Ah, oh, that is unfortunate. Although you think Batman would be all over this stuff. You think he'd just start, you know, do like a bear funnel kind of a thing and just chug the serum. He's like, I'm finally becoming a bat. All right, let's take a look at this computer. A computer. Maybe it contains some answers. This computer stores all of Dr. Langstrom's research. That is an excellently sized monitor. It is terrific. Okay, so we've got two strains. Mixing his DNA with a vampire bat? That was never going to end well. If I search through his files, I may be able to create an antidote to his condition. I need to of isolate course. the bat's signature and remove it from Langstrom's DNA. Oh, hang on, here we go. 
So I have to be kind of quick off the mark, I guess. It'll take a bit of focus. So yeah, I, I, from what I can tell, what I'm doing here basically is, you see those, they're like the spiraling chains of DNA? Um, whenever I get a red X, I'm just twisting that particular strain. And uh, it seems to be doing the trick. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. I think it's going to be more, very much so trial and error though. We're getting there though, little by little. Damn it, we dropped down to the 70s. Ah, oh, we were nearly there. We were so close. I know how to science. That's it. We did it. I've created a clean DNA sample. Now all I need to do is make him take his medicine. You know what's depressing? Alfred, I've synthesized a cure in Langstrom's lab. Now I just need to find him. Any idea where he may be hiding? He's not in control of his actions. He could be anywhere. No one knows this city better than you, Master Bruce. You'll find him. This is true. Find him we shall. I'm guessing we're just gonna find him flying around the city like we did the first time. Mr. Joker? His wife? Your parents? <laughs> what is it about dead relatives that turns you into a giant rodent? <laughs> Harsh. <laughs> but a valid point, nonetheless. But there's a complete difference between me and Langstrom. I am Batman, he is... He's Man-Bat. It's a completely different... Shut up, Joker. <laughs> Just shut up. But you're psychotic, but also very on the level... Shut up! <laughs> if there's one thing I hate is when people come to an argument with me armed with facts and logic. I dislike it immensely. Alright, what I might actually do... I might pop up to the top of a building and see if we can find Mr. Langstrom, Mr. Manbat, floating around anywhere. Because I'd imagine he's going to stand out as an orange, um, an orange flying thing. Yeah, helicopters. And I'd imagine he'd make a nice old screechy sound when he's nearby as well. Alright. Nothing so far anyway. So what else have we got going on here in terms of side missions right now? Um, can't do anything there. Is there another fire? It's just a matter of time before... No. Uh, we got the Riddler of course. Occupy Gotham. Asriel. I wonder if we have another Asriel well, mission. I'm going to search for Asriel's burning bat symbol and continue his tests. I think we got more pressing matters than testing someone, Mr. Bruce. Um, all right, tell you what we're going to do, people. We're going to get back to the main mission. Let's see what Nightwing's got on North Refrigeration. If I find Penguin, I'll find the Arkham Knight. Indeed, sir. Master Grayson confirmed he'll meet you on the building overlooking the Ranala Ferry Terminal. Damn, Skippy. So we're going to meet up with Nightwing, who, for those of you who might not know, Nightwing is the former Robin. I think he was the first Robin, wasn't he? Or was he the second? I can never remember. Although, is this another burning building? I'm thinking this is another uh, Firefly moment here. You know what, people? Let's just let ourselves get distracted here a little bit. Mainly because I can't not good conscience just walk by a burning building and just, you know, leave it to its fate. Oh, Mr. Batmobile. Gomestas, bitches. He'll probably be fine. Probably. Not really. Physically incapable of being fine. Ah, did it too much. There we go. So it's all fire stations he's setting on fire, basically. You're going back to jail, Lynn. Scarecrow promised me Gotham. Tinder for my place. Alrighty, we gotta hunt him down again. I'd imagine it's the exact same thing. Get close, catapult out of the Batmobile, and then 
absolutely introduce him to my fist. Repeatedly. Until he remembers my fist by name. Uh, Batman should name his fists though, you know? Gotham Regional Hospital and something like O'Connell's Funeral Home. <laughs> that is what he should call his fists. <laughs> See, I don't know if you have to chase him for a certain length of time before you can catapult onto him or if you can just manage to get close enough then you can do it. All I know is he should be running out of rocket fuel. That jetpack, looking at the size of it and then trying to think of how big his gas canister, petrol canister, whatever you want to call it, his petrol tank, how big that can be but also maintain a weight that could let him be airborne. It can't be all that big. So, if anything, he should be walking around fairly soon. Unless he's just stopping at a petrol station somewhere along the way. And then that raises another question. His jetpack, and in fact, while we're at it, Batman's Batmobile. Do you reckon it runs on petrol or unleaded? It's a random question, but these are the things you gotta think about, people. And it's pounding time. Oh, God damn it. You can't stop me, Batman! Gotham will be ashes by dawn! Really disliking that guy. Another run-in with Firefly, sir. Just like the last time. He's attacking fire stations. Perhaps he takes their work personally, sir. Keep tabs on the other stations, Alfred. Let me know when he strikes. Okay, I wonder if that will make things easier for us, then. Got some upgrade points available. You know, would it be a case of Alfred will actually inform us when we can actually help out? Might as well increase that. Uh, Ram charge. I got four points. I might rather dump that into the bat suit, maybe. Uh, shockwave on impact. Ooh. Yeah, want. Grapple takedown. Oh, and you can do a fair takedown. All right, I'll do that. Okay, now we're going to get back to the main mission. <laughs> we got see what pleasantly got distracted by Mr. Firefly there if for I a minute. Penguin, find the oh God, I destroyed that car. That reminds me of the uh, Ghostbusters mobile. All right, cross the bridge we go. Alright then all you handsome bastards and classy ladies, thank you all for watching this video. I will see you all on the next one, at which point we're going to meet up with Nightwing. And I do believe what we're going to be doing... Oh my god, there's a car! <laughs> I get distracted so easily. And as far as I know, I don't have ADHD or anything, I'm just easily... Oh! Oh come on, he got... He got toppled. Urgh. Angry noises and growls and stuff. Oh, I killed that police officer car. Ah, uh, well, yeah, I killed the car. I killed that inanimate object. Oh, that should be him out of commission. Damn it. The camera screwed me over. I got confused. I got bamboozled. Oh, yeah, funnel yourselves into my little kill tunnel. Which, appropriately enough, was made by Wayne Industries, or Wayne Tech, or whatever you want to call it. Get out of my way. Also, totally no way they survived that. That's him hit. Oh dear. And that's him down. Just lost one more lieutenant. All right, that's one more lieutenant. How many lieutenants did they have? Or lieutenant, if you technically want to pronounce it properly. Okay, all you handsome bastards and classy ladies. Now I promise. See what super Knight mega pinky promise. Next video. This is the end of this one. Penguin. I'll find the Arkham Knight. Next video, we are going to be taking down Penguin. I do believe with Nightwing. So do check in on my video. I love you all, and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you all for watching.